Jim from Sue's Dogbrook Mud Garden today and it's the 11th of March 2024 and the jets are going round at the moment so they might come back round. They've already been round twice I think. There's two jets flying over at the moment. They've only just started as normal when I come outside. This always happens. Anyway, I'm going to show you what I want to do in the garden today. So something a bit different. So instead of um, trimming the ground, I'm going to trim the bed today. And I've just planted my tree that I had growing outside the front of my polytunnel where I kept saying that I needed to repot it. So I've done that because I was walking past it and I've trimmed up the lemon balm, took all the sticks out. All these great hyacinths are coming into flower now. But um, I just wanted to tidy up a bit and try and do some of the jobs that I keep saying that I'm going to do and then just keep walking past them. So I've just it's on top you. of the lemon barn, so now it's like real down deep to the ground. Um, so the next things I want to put on are these two little sort of bushes. So there's one here and there's one here and they both need repotting because they're in these very shallow terracotta pots. So I'm going to repot those, um, but not today. What we did do today was repotted the, um, the little, I think it is a plum tree. Uh, I just had to take the label off, it completely gone, and I've put a strap on it with a stick. And I've repotted that, so into a bucket. So, oh, can you hear the planes? Oh, I don't know where they are, I think they might come over again in a minute. I can hear them. <laughs> Anyway, so I've just done that. There's nothing growing in this. So we, we might use this to put one of those plants in and then we won't have to use so much compost. I can't even remember what they're called. They're just like little seedlings that I picked up out of the ground and they're like little trees. So I'm just gonna put them over here. So I'm not doing that now. What I wanna do now is do some trimming now because I've just done that. I'm going to trim down here actually. Yeah, so instead of getting on my hands and knees and digging it all out, I can't see any forget me nots in this bit. And I've just done a load of forget, forget me not seeds, so we've got some forget me nots growing. Oh, hey, hold on. Oh, surprise. Hold on. That's got another delivery. I've had two deliveries today for Mother's Day. Thank you, children, for bringing me such lovely gifts. It's wonderful. I've got a fairy now. I'll show you her later because I need to take... What I normally do is take photos of all the stuff my children send me and then do like a group photo of them all so, and then send them to the kids so that they can see that I've received them. So anyway, we're back out in the garden and we are going to strip. Have we finished with the planes now, we hope? So as I was saying, we're going to do this bit down here. Did you get the gist of what I was saying? Let me just turn this bit. Avoid in these, obviously. And we're going to strim round here. That's what I've decided to do because there's a lot of ground cover stuff. It takes me ages to pull it all out. And it doesn't make any difference. It always grows back. So I might as well just strim it. So that's what we're going to do. And this won't take long. And then this side of the garden will be done. And then all we have to do then is just that bit at the back. So we'll see how far we get. There's no sheep in there today. I don't know where all the sheepies have gone. The farmer's taken them out. Might have taken them out early this morning. But I can't see them in the field here. So we might get and do that back bit before any sheep come back. Anyway, I think that's what we might do today. I'll let you know. I might change my mind completely. But we're definitely going to do this bit down here. Okay. What I've been doing. Oh, so I've been strimming all round here, strimmed it all, strimmed down all the weeds, all the, all through there and I've just raked it all up so I've just got to go through there with a bucket and pick out all the debris. So much easier just to strim it. And then when the weeds start growing back I'll just strim it again. I actually want to put some flowers in here. But I've strimmed loads, look. God, it saves me so much time. And see how, how that looks now? So we've got our dogwood, we've got a rose here, and we've got that, and I forgot what that's called, but that's a perennial. I will take one of those lens pictures of it when it grows. Anyway, look at this, so we've got, we just have to pull out the weeds here though, because um, we've got primulas and stuff, I can't strim all that. 
And I've just been trimming off a lot of these red flowers, but we've got some alliums in here. And there's lots of bulbs here. Just here, look, you can see. So we don't want to trim there. Anyway, we already cleared that bit. We've got a nice little budlier growing there. But wow, so that's cut my time doing gardening right down if I trim. Right, wow, that's great. So we've done that bit now. We just need to go back in there, clear it up, and it's done. It's really hard to get in this ground, by the way. We've um, got so many tree roots in there. So, you know, that it's really hard to get any plants in there. It took me ages to try and dig holes for these things. That's why I put, um, you know, plants that just grow back rather than annuals. But we will throw some flowers in there and see how they fare. But I'm really pleased with that. That didn't take me very long at all. I mean, if I've gone in there on my hands and knees, I've missed a few here. But I can just go back in there with the strimmer and strim them off. This is where the linaria is here. This here. I did have a label. I must have accidentally... I reckon it's in this pile. That's the lunaria there. So that should grow back because that's a perennial. But my God, I've done that in such a quick amount of time. I'm really impressed. So if I can do that there... Oh, the trouble is over here. There's a lot of plants in here. But I will try and strim all this grass. See all this grass in here? I could strim all that and strim a lot of the uh, periwinkle. Yeah, I think this is the way to go. Do a bit more strimming. There's a nice plant there. It's been swamped out by those, these things. But yeah, oh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go through here with the strimmer as well. Being very careful because there is a lot of stuff that I can't strim. But yeah, I think we're going to start tackling this bit today because I feel energised and now I can see the results on this so quickly. Looks amazing. Wow, so everything you can see now is what I want to keep in there. So there's loads and loads of bluebells in there. And I do like these, but only where I want them. So where I don't want them, I'm just going to strim them. They grow back, they're bulb plants. <laughs> But yeah, look at that. I'm so, I'm so amazed. Anyway, I'm going to make a cup of coffee now. Oh, yeah, really pleased with that. Really, really, really pleased. Anyway, I'm going to go now. No big garden area. Yeah. And I was just uh, looking at the pond and I thought I'd just do a bit more of the <laughs> digging. So I've dug that much. That's all the earth. So I'm leaving it there for a minute and then I'll move it tomorrow. So I've only got that little corner left to do now. And then we'll be done with this bed. So that'd be good, won't it? So I might turn it into a circle instead of a square. That would look nice, wouldn't it? We can make it into a circle. So that's that. So we were doing a load of that. There's a load of um, worms in there. Sorry to disturb them, but I do need to finish. And it's very soft as soil. So I thought I'd just do a little bit of that anyway. I just locked the chickens up. I managed to put Mr. Magoo in with the other chickens today and uh, he seems to be getting on all right with them. So let's hope that that's gonna be okay. We'll see. We'll wait and see anyway. I just wanted to do a little bit more strimming around the other garden. Uh, it's uh, about 20 past five I think so it's going to get dark soon I've locked the chickens up so I'll just join you around the bit I'm just going to do a tiny bit really quickly because it's like quite late now there's 10 minutes of trimming over here and tomorrow we pick up all the dirt that we've done today so there's no, no big deal so we're just going to do a little bit over here 10 minutes just strip them through here a little bit <sighs> okay I've got to watch this ground cover plant but we're going to mainly oh and there's some uh, let's have a look in there first I haven't actually been around this side of the garden for so long I've got some oh I might not do it today because this is going to be harder than I thought we've got some uh 
Yeah. Daffodils. I don't know if they're done. Oh, that one's got a flower on it. And I need my cutters to cut this bit. Now, I don't know if we will do that today because it's quite a big job. Yeah, and on first glance it looks easy. Actually, we're going to trim that over there instead. Let's go and do that. We want something simple to do. Okay, and I'll just trim this whole area because this isn't supposed to be grass. This whole bit here is supposed to be gravel and the grass has just taken root. So I'm just going to keep on trimming it. And when Simon gets that special tool, he can rake over it. And I think you'll find that the car park is massive once all this is done. So, and all this stuff has been taken away. Yeah, it's going to... It's going to be good anyway so i've just left it in a line there so i'll pick it up tomorrow i, I ran out of strim time there's a little bit there and there's a big mound here that i need to knock back with a spade because i tripped over it and there's a big mound here that needs knocking out as well here and it's not supposed to have um grass on it at all it's supposed to just all be gravel but over the years the grass just takes control look <laughs> but we'll soon get it back once we get our special tool I need to go and put my chicken in <laughs> I got her out because um, I thought she needed a bit of running around and she wanted some greens anyway so she had, she's had some leaves and stuff anyway so we've tidied through here we've just got to pick up all the dirt tomorrow but um, yeah I've just done so much today I'm really really happy with what I've achieved today I'll just turn the camera around and say goodbye start packing away um, because I'm, you know I just need to keep on it just keep on it every day just doing little bits I was going to strim over this side but as I said there's lots of plants in there and I don't want to disturb them anyway Tweetles looks like she wants to go in all the other chickens are away I'll just put the uh, tools away and I'll say goodbye to you because it's a bit juddery isn't it okay see you in a minute plants I've just covered up um, these uh, peas at the end here I need to go in now I'm very tired I need to put tweetles away and it's um, about quarter past six I think it's so nice it's lighter in the evenings anyway I'm really pleased with what I've achieved today tomorrow we're going to start tackling the other side and we're also going to continue uh, go back um, over to the no dig where the bark beds are near the house and just clear make sure there's no weeds growing in there um, I've still got to do the bit by my car I need Simon to put a strap on my um, strimmer because I'm finding it very hard holding it up right and I said to him could you please like put a strap on or something so that I can sort of not keep holding it but it's all right for a little while but after a while your arms really start to ache i know it's good exercise but yeah i want to get on and do more strumming so I, it's stopping me and anyway um i went in uh, and then i had to clean out the fryer because simon's making donuts today i've never had i've not had donuts for years i've made so he's making donuts today <laughs> for a tree and um, and we've already had dinner today he made a what is it a, uh, Italian frittata or something like that which is like a kind of um, egg omelette type thing but not really lovely it was it was beautiful and we had that for lunch which was also our dinner so for tea we're having donuts homemade and uh, cheesy chips are now really bad for us, but never mind. Anyway, I'm really happy with the garden, how it's starting to take shape. I really am. I feel really on top of everything this year. I haven't never felt this top of the garden for years, actually, because I've always never been on top of it. I've never been on top of it. It is a big garden. I haven't even started on round the other side where the kitchen is there's a big bit of garden there 
It's not as big as this side, but um, more of a sort of what I wanted as a uh, kitchen garden, if you know what I mean. But uh, that's for a whole nother set of videos. <laughs> we won't be doing round there until we've done all round here first. Anyway, I think we need to cut the grass soon. The farmer needs to order special things. Sheep are moaning because the farmer usually comes about now and gives them some extra grain because they're all pregnant. So, yeah, so that's why they're sort of moaning in the background because they think that I'm the farmer with my bucket. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Please give me a like and a thumbs up and I hope you enjoyed this video and you get some, you know, oomph in you to carry on doing things every day. I've done a little bit of digging, you know, I've done do a bit of this bit of that and whatever takes my fancy to tell you the truth and if i get bored of it i just stop doing it and do something else and then go back to it and that's what i find is the best way to be is not to sort of get into my head i need to do this today because then I'm, i feel like i'm just a tyrant to myself <laughs> and i can do what i like basically so that's what i do so anyway thank you for watching see you again soon in the next video bye for now bye